Good morning, everybody. I'm Christina Pocklington, and my co-host Riley is running in and out. He's not quite sure he wants to do this this morning. So I'm going to show you our signs for our hello song. They are hello, friends. Oh, Riley, bring your chair over here if you want to do it with me. Here, let me help you. Pick it up and put it down. <gasps> Here's my co-host, Riley. He's joined us. Riley, can you say your name? Or do you want to just sing the song with us? That was short-lived. That's okay. So here are our signs for our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. And then point your, whoa, point your hands at yourself and come on out. How are you? How are you? Are you feeling happy or grumpy? How are you? Now let's sing it together. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling grumpy? How are you? How are you? How are you feeling today? I am feeling happy. Riley and I got to go to Meyer Gardens this well, morning. Right there, so this yeah, you're showing me where that pointer is. And that made me happy. Riley, then, do you want to quickly? Then, then pointer. Yeah, you're pretend playing with that. Are you being gentle with mama? Are you being gentle? You're making me a little bit nervous because I don't want I don't want to get hurt. Can you come say how you're feeling? Oh, I'm going to hold that because that got too close to my face. Oh, you are trying for attention. Come here. You are trying so many things. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Grumpy. You're grumpy. What's one way we can feel better, grumpy pants? Sometimes when you're grumpy, you might need a hug. You might need to take some deep breaths. And sometimes, you know what? Taking a bath might help or taking a shower because water helps us feel less grumpy sometimes. Now, today is all about talking. And you're gonna see two different activities that Riley and me and his dad did together. We played with toys together and then we went to the pretend barber shop and got haircuts. So you'll get to see two different activities. And when we do those things, I want you to listen and hear what we say because we're trying to add one word or idea to what Riley's doing or playing with. So if he says, see the cat, I'm going to say, see the black cat or see the little cat. Or I'll ask him a question. What is the cat going to do? What's wrong? In the beginning of the video, Riley is playing by himself because he is not feeling safe. He's pretend playing and he's making the area safe for me to come over and be with him, which is really cool. Riley does a really good job with that. He has a great imagination. So you get to see two ways we play with our imaginations today. And we've also got a really fun book today. It's called Say Something. It's by Peter H. Reynolds. And it's all the different ways you can express yourself. All these fun sayings. I can speak from your heart. Take a stand. Think green. I can help you after I'm done with the book, my love. I'm up here. I see you. You are being safe. Follow your heart. Let's stand together. Hate has no home here. These are all different things you can say to your friends. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. It matters that you try. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. With words, with actions, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, 
Look, they're sitting on the bench by themselves. <gasps> Look how sad that person looks. I wonder what we could do to help. You could say something by just being there. Look, they're sitting quietly together. Look, this person is reassuring the one who is lonely. His hand is on his back. He's being a good friend without saying a word. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. This person's gonna fill the canvas with paint. I see you're having fun. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. Oh, look, there was trash here. He cleaned it up. And then I wonder how many people are going to be happy because they went from seeing trash to pretty flowers. How cool is that? If you see someone being hurt, uh-oh, they don't look happy. He looks angry and he looks uncomfortable. They're not being good friends to each other right now. Say something by bring, being brave. You can say, hey, stop. And if you're not comfortable saying, hey, stop, go get an adult who can help you. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. I saw some pretty flowers at Meyer Gardens today. Riley's having a lot of fun. You can say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. I have a good idea. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurt. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Peace. Inspire others to do the same. Look at all the fun signs. You know what this says? This says peace in sign language. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what's in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Look, it's a bird. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world is listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others but everyone has something to say. Oh, I hope, I believe, I wish, together we can. So when you're ready, say something! And you can say it in your way. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? So your homework this weekend is to find a way to say something. And now, let's go check out the two activities we talked about earlier. See you in a second. Yeah. Yeah, stay back. Stay back, stay yeah, back. Stay back. Stay back, is it not safe? It's not safe right here. <gasps> it's not safe right there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Stay back, stay back. You want me to stay back here? Yeah. You could say stop, stay back. Stop, stay back. Okay. Will you let me know when it's safe? It's safe. It's safe oh, now? It's safe now. <gasps> Ooh. No, it's not safe. Oh, it's not safe? It's not, not safe. safe. I should stay back. You have to stay back. <gasps> What's the bulldozer going to do? Who's going to make it safe? Um... This truck. That truck's going to make it safe? The truck with the cat? Yeah. Is the cat, the black cat is right here. Let's show our friends. Look, there's our black cat. Hello, black cat. <gasps> is the black cat going to help make it safe? 
Yeah. Is it a fireman cat? Oh! <gasps> yeah. Riley, when you sneeze, catch it in your elbow. Like this. Achoo! Achoo! No. We can't see your face. <gasps> I'm going to back up a little bit. Let so, back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you can back up a little bit so we can see your face. Okay, Riley. <gasps> can you show me where it is not safe to play? Show me where it's not safe. It's not safe right there. It's not safe right there? Okay. Who... Who okay. is going to make it safe? The cat. The cat. Okay. What color is the cat? Black. The black cat? The black <coughs> cat? Bless you, Good. bless you, bless you. <gasps> you Good used job. your elbow that you time. Elbow. Thank <sighs> you. A chew, a chew. Okay, Riley. Can you show me how you will take the black cat? To help make it safe. And then I can come over and play there. What is the black cat going to do? Um, this, this. Oh, black cat, me go in. Black cat, me go on the train for one second. That black cat needs to go. Is it a big train or a little train? Okay. So the black cat is going on the little train. <gasps> road is safe. <gasps> the road is safe? The black cat made the road safe? Yeah. Just one? Yeah. Alright, Riley. Orange or pink? Or brown or pink? No, I'll do all of them. All of them, okay. How about I do one and then the other? Can you sit down? No. Yeah. No, uh, just one. Just one? Just the brown one for your haircut? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> what needs to happen first, Riley? <gasps> Here. Dad is gonna comb your hair. <gasps> cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, <gasps> he's cutting your bangs. Cut, cut, cut. Do you want long hair like Dad or short hair? Okay. Long hair? Okay, I yeah. won't cut too much then. He'll just give you a little trim. Oh, <gasps> what next? What needs to happen next, Riley? Do you want a brush? Or do you want Dad to shave you? Okay, you want a brush? You're doing such a good job sitting in the chair. Look at how still you're sitting. You are waiting patiently. This is good practice for when you get a real haircut. <gasps> what do you think so far? Do you like it? Do you want to shave or makeup? What do you want next? Well, I makeup. Makeup? First. You want makeup first? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll get that out first. Dad just got it. No, no, I'll get a white thing. You, you want to get the white makeup? thing? Oh, did it come out? It did. <gasps> oh, you it. remembered where that was. You could say that's, I found the white round thing. What's this for round? That's a white round sponge for putting on pretend makeup. Do you like how that feels on your cheek? What does it feel like? You're smelling yeah, what it. What does it smell like? What does it smell like? That is an empty makeup container that the mirror is still intact, but there's no makeup in it, and it is perfect for pretend play. <gasps> do, do you want to get a shave? shave? You want to oh, put the cape so back on? <gasps> yeah, we don't want to get hair in your shirt. That would be no fun. <gasps> Good job putting the cape on. Does that feel rough or smooth against your skin? Your lip. Mustache. That one's a little bit scratchy, isn't it? Is this what Dada uses? Yeah. So then there's this old-fashioned kind of razor called a straight edge. This is a lot 
it's smoother. Yeah, it's, it's harder to do though. You have to be really careful with this. So you just do it all yourself. You know. I'm gonna cut all the little whiskers off like that. Do you feel nice and clean? What do you think? Good. You want to do some more? What What do you want to do next? Hair dryer, or how about the clippers? Dada's hands was ju were just on the clippers. You want to do the clippers? Like haircuts? Do you like sitting? You look a little tired to me. Are you feeling a little tired? Oh, your bangs look so cute. Are they level? You mean straight? Yeah. Yeah. Straight level, yeah. Oh, time for the comb again to check the length. Do you feel pretty, Riley? You have pretty hair like Dad does. Friends, friends come over, friends play with that. Yeah, when yeah. friends come over, they can play with this hair. This is this is my first shaving kit that we've supplemented with some toys. <gasps> Do you want the hair dryer? <gasps> oh. Um, it's your turn. It's, my it's turn. your turn? Are you gonna do Dada's? Okay, Dad Dada's turn. One. Oh, Dada wants to wear the pink one. No. I'm wearing the brown one? Yeah. Okay, okay. well, it's your barber shop, so. How do you get your pink one on? Can I get pink one on? I thought you said I needed the brown one. I can do the pink one. No, brown one. Okay. Maybe Dad is so big he could do both. Maybe he could do the brown one and the pink one. Could you help him? <laughs> well, Riley, I'm noticing your feet are on the edge of the blanket. So, Dada might need to help you just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at Dada. He's so pink. How is this camp on? The cape? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Riley. Here I go. Oh, you're blow drying his hair. What are you gonna do next? Now remember, we can use fake scissors for cutting hair, but we can't use real scissors for cutting hair. You're doing great. This real scissors? Those are fake scissors. I just pretend. You're just pretending. Close. Are you gonna make Dada's hair short or are you gonna keep it long? Hmm. You're gonna keep it long? Don't forget to be very gentle. Yeah. Dada looks happy. I look at Dada's face. I think Dada is having a lot of fun playing with you today. Done. All You're done? done? Can, I, can I see it in the mirror? Sure. I think the oh, the mirror is out. to the right of the container. It's already next to the bag. Look on the floor next to the bag. Oh, you found it. Oh. <gasps> You have to hold it far enough away that Dada can yeah. see himself. <gasps> oh, I think Dada feels pretty too. I do. Are you taking off the drop cloth? <gasps> Whose turn is it? It's your turn Riley's again. turn again. Okay. Okay. How many haircuts are you getting? <gasps> five! Five You need five haircuts? What color cape do you want? Pink or brown or both? Riley, if you rock the chair, that's not a safe choice. If you're rocking the chair, you lose the chair. You don't rock, rock the chair. Oh, <gasps> look, you're pink. You're so pink. You're pink and shiny. Uh -uh, brown one. We're going to do both then. You can be pink and brown. Which is your favorite? Which color do you like more, pink or brown? All of them. 
all of room. them. Okay. <gasps> Do you like first. blue? The brush Dad is using on you is blue. He's using a blue brush. I like blue brushes. You like blue brushes? Oh, oh here comes the clippers. Oh, are you all done? Are we all done? Okay. Okay. This is why we need five. Yes. <gasps> now it is Mama's turn. I'm so excited. <gasps> okay, pink or brown for Mama? All of them. All of them. Oh, I think I want to put the brown on my legs. And I want to wear the pink like a cape. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you want to play with them a little bit, don't you, before you put them on. <gasps> Is it so fun? <gasps> yeah. I'm feeling a breeze. You're making a little bit of wind inside. What's that noise? Oh, that's one of your toys. I think it was either the fire truck or the police car. <gasps> Can I have a cape, please? No. <laughs> are, are we done? Is Mama not getting a haircut? I would love to get a haircut. Do I have to do it myself? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no, ah! I gave myself a short haircut. Help me, Riley. Your fire truck is still singing. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you got to do a haircut. Oh, don't forget, catch it in your elbow. But you got to do it. Oh, good, good job. Catch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was very short. I think, Riley, are you all done doing hair? Yeah. Okay, before you leave, can we put, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, nope, five things to put away. How about if I do two, can you do two, and then Dada will do one? I think I will put the scissors away, and I will put the clippers away. What are you going to put away? That's why we put our toys away so we don't slip. Which two toys do you want to put away uh. before we play? Which two toys are you going to pick, Riley? <gasps> the mirror and the hair dryer. And, oh, are you going to do a bonus toy too? One more toy. Because I only asked you to put two toys away and you put three toys away. Can I get a high five? <gasps> oh, you're going to zip it? Good problem solving. You figured out how to close that. <gasps> zip, zip. Where are you going to put it? Over here. Is that where it goes? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I think that goes in the dramatic play bin. Do you want Mama to put it there or Riley to put it there? Um, Mama.